Hey guys, let's talk about hydralazine, also known as a prezzoline. This is an oral medication, as you can see here with this packaging, but it also comes in other forms like IV. Okay, remember when we talk about the therapeutic class, we're talking about how the drug works in the body, while the pharmacologic class is the chemical effect of the drug. So hydralazine is an antihypertensive, while its pharmacologic class is a vasodilator. So the action of hydralazine is it promotes arterial vasodilation following smooth muscle relaxation, which is why we use it for the treatment of hypertension. So be aware that there are some side effects that come along with hydralazine. These can include angina, tachycardia, and even arrhythmias. So let's take a look at a few nursing considerations for hydralazine. Of course, you will want to monitor your patient's blood pressure while on therapy to be sure the treatment and dose are appropriate and are in fact working for your patients. Know that hydralazine may cause some sodium retention in your patient. Use caution in patients who are also on MAOIs and finally teach your patient how to take their own blood pressure, even if it's at the local pharmacy or with an at-home monitor. So here's an interesting thing about hydralazine. So in combination with isozorbide dinitrates, this combination is used for the treatment of CHF and was actually the first drug combination that was approved on the basis of race, as it has shown to be super successful in black patients. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.